I want to explain a few things to all the people who hate the pauses. I still love you. Thank you for watching. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and you're good to go. Now today's reaction is actually to a band I haven't done on the channel yet. And to my knowledge, I haven't heard any of their songs either. That's really exciting for me because it'll be nice and fresh. And it comes courtesy of a special birthday request from Tom Hardy. I know what you're thinking. Tom Hardy, right? Nah, not that one. This one. And I'm sure he's equally as lovely. Dude, I hope you have an awesome day. Please comment on the video so I can pin it to the top and we can all wish you on your special day. But for now, let's get stuck in. Fit for Rivals, Damage. Let's see what you got. Don't know anything. You don't know anything. You don't know anything about me. Okay, I'm going to pause it there and I know a lot of people are going to get mad because it's building into something bigger. But I want to explain a few things to all the people who hate the pauses. I still love you. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Um, just some simple but smart and effective ways to build up a song. Started out really nice with her vocal and that palm muting which was panned to the left. And then all those kind of shock instrumentation inserts, the quick hits, you know, the full front of the band that came in just for those brief moments was actually in both sides of the headphones. Then... Um, you could actually hear her come in with another harmony underneath. So that was an evolution and a build. And actually, um, you heard the drummer doing, it's actually rim clicks. I spoke about rim shots in a, pre in a previous reaction and someone corrected me and said, you know, it's not a rim shot because you actually do hit the skin with that and you get the um, that rim hit and the skin hit to give that echo. This is just clicks. It sounds like it's just on the rim. So it's just nice, smart, effective build up to the song. Don't know anything. Don't know anything. You don't know anything about me. Really cool. Um there are a lot of bands that have this kind of sound, you know, we're only 24 seconds in, but just based off that, there are a lot of bands that have this sound, but they did something nice and fresh with that. So when they broke into that piece, which to be honest, could end up being the musical backdrop to something more important, like a chorus. I like that they had that nice lead tone on top. The tone was awesome. The actual riff was awesome and it sounded a bit rock and rolly. And that's definitely my flavor. So very cool. This is a good um, time to explain palm muting again for anyone who is new to the channel and hasn't heard me mention it before. Palm muting is when you use your palm to muffle the vibrations of the strings and you still get the tonal value, but you don't get the full resonance and ring out. And you can get that palm up and down to kind of release to get the full note coming through. And you can hear that with what he's doing with his pickings. There's definitely a palm muted bit there where you can hear the notes a bit more muffled and then you can hear them open up. And it's just really nice, nice backdrop. Um, I like when there is a certain amount of busyness in a verse piece and it sounds like there is here. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the vocal melody would have been written to just the progression of the chords versus the lead work that he's doing, but it's still really nice anyway. Okay, okay, awesome. I won't go back again because we are going to hear another chorus, I'm sure. Um, and that was a really 
unexpected, to be honest. I thought it would be different. Um, it sounded quite like rock and roll. She had a nice grasp to her voice. Uh, I really liked that. I enjoyed that a lot. Not what I expected. And again, you make these assumptions based on small things you hear in the music early on, um, the visual of the band. I know this song is quite old, so there's a lot to work through still. But based off what I'm hearing, uh, this would have, at least to my knowledge, would have been quite quite a fresh take on, on, on that scene. Um, definitely had like a nice rock and roll edge, which I love. Hold me down, just let me go There's always more I want it all Excluding you, losing control So construed Oh, you don't know anything No, you don't know anything About me Michael Lair in there Okay, I am going back there because I liked how those drums transitioned. Tough video, um, obviously got a really deep message behind it, but um, I like when there's a nice story to the video as well. It's one of those that's mixed with storytelling and um, live performance. And that visual aid is really helpful when you're doing reactions or analysis of the music. Okay, back one more time. Uh, just, I think I just caught it there. So he's actually kept the beat the same, but he's moved to um, using a lot of hi-hat work where he's, he's using his pedal to open up. So you get that freshness of it opening up and closing. You get that, and it's a really nice sound, sound that comes through. It's just a small variation to make sure when you do a double chorus, you're doing something different to freshen up, and it is smart. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is essentially a deconstruction. Um, you can hear the vocal phrasing and you can hear the music behind it in the chorus. And that's one of those elements. And um, sometimes it's overemphasized or it changes to almost like a um, phonetic way of playing it, if you will. But uh, it's really nice for them to deconstruct, pull that out, to have it on its own is really powerful. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I like that actually. It's it's a very simple, catchy, um, smart song. It, it, it's it's. I think her voice is the hero there. I don't think there was anything musically technical to kind of stand out. It was more uh, creating a canvas for her to sing on and there's nothing wrong with that you know they can play and they did a really good job of picking their moments to have kind of little bits of moments to shine some nice lead work throughout the song to be honest um but just created a really nice aggressive canvas for her to sing on and her voice has a nice rasp at the end there where she was doing the double up vocal and she was not quite screaming which is then a lot of that rasp and, and cry come through that's awesome i'd love to hear more of that and i can't wait to see what they've done from this video and then maybe look at something a little bit newer see what they've done more recently that's that's awesome um Really enjoyed that one. And again, Tom, I hope you have a great day. And uh, that one was for you, dude. Until the next time, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day. Yeah.